Right, I'm going to demonstrate a Prusik knot. Take a piece of paracord, at least two foot, two and a half foot long. Create a loop by folding it in half. Rest it behind your main guy line or ridge line. Pass it through the loop. Oh, there you go, it's one of the things that happens. Put it behind, pass it through the loop, pull it down. So your loop is up, your cord is down, pass it through again. Try and keep it in the center like this, pass it through again. Now pull tight. And it should end up like this. Now you would tie this end, the tag ends, to a tarp. So when your tarp's over your ridge line, you can slide it out to stretch it, keep it taut. But when you pull on this, tug on this, it will not slide back. It's a Prusik knot. But then you release the tension and it will slide where you want it. Pull it again, won't slide. Doesn't matter which way you're pulling it. It's a tension knot. Prusik knot, brilliant knot. Show you it one more time. Quick release as well. Fold your cord. Run through it. If you keep it under tension, it, it makes a quicker and easier knot. If you don't keep it under tension, you just, they all go over each other and it's harder to dress it at the end. Adjustable knot. People have used these to descend off of cliffs and hold their body weight. I wouldn't suggest you do it a paracord or do it at all. But in an emergency situation, I'll show you what happens when you don't keep it taut and you just wrap it. So take your loop over, pull through, around, pull through, around, pull through. Well, actually, look at that. That's come good. I thought that would be all over the place. If it is all over the place and it ends up like, like that, oh, that's not too bad either, is it? I'm trying to get it to go wrong. You just adjust the coils so it's nice and uniform. You get a better slide then. Prusik knot.